a seasoned detective Alex Harrow, had envisioned their vacation as an escape from the relentless pace of crime solving. Nestled within the Arctic Circle, the Ice Hotel promised a serene retreat, its translucent walls glowing ethereally under the aurora-lit sky. Upon arrival, Alex's awe at the hotel's architectural wonder, carved entirely from ice, each room a cavern of sparkling frost, was palpable. Yet the chill that settled over the place was not solely from the freezing temperature. The guests, an eclectic mix of international travelers and secretive figures, added to the hotel's enigmatic charm. Alex mingled, their detective instincts mingling with the tourists' curiosity, noting subtle tensions and peculiar exchanges. The discovery came shockingly, a scream piercing the perpetual twilight. In a room sculpted like a crystal palace, a guest was found, lifeless and frozen, seated as if gazing out at the snowy expanse. With no apparent injuries, and the room securely locked from the inside, the scene was a riddle wrapped in ice. Reluctantly, Alex stepped into the role they knew best, the thin line between vacation and vocation vanishing like mist. As the Arctic night deepened, Alex prowled the silent corridors of the ice hotel, their breath clouding in the frigid air. Each guest room door they passed seemed to whisper secrets of its occupants, the stillness punctuated only by the distant howl of the wind. Alex encountered surreal phenomena that blurred the edges of reality, fleeting shadows that slinked through walls and whispers that seemed to echo from the ice itself. These occurrences strained Alex's grasp on what was real, mirroring their internal turmoil. Conversations with the hotel's guests revealed layers of complexity, a novelist seeking solitude, a scientist studying glacial phenomena, and a mysterious couple whose smiles didn't quite reach their eyes. Each interaction left Alex with more questions than answers. The second incident shook the hotel, a staff member discovered in a state of catatonic shock, clutching a frost-covered antique locket, her eyes wide with an unspoken horror. Clues collected, a series of old cryptic journal entries found tucked behind a loose panel in the lobby, seemed to connect the hotel's current mysteries with dark events from its past. The night deepened around the ice hotel as Detective Alex Harrow wrestled with the fragments of evidence that seemed as scattered as the snowflakes outside. Poring over the cryptic journal entries by candlelight, Alex began to piece together a tale of a tragic expedition lost to these icy wastes decades ago, whose spirits, some guests whispered, never left the hotel. As the Aurora Borealis cast eerie lights over the hotel, Alex's dreams became vivid portals into the past, blurring lines between the waking world and sleep. In these dreams, they conversed with the long-dead expedition leader, who hinted at hidden truths buried beneath the hotel's foundation. Each morning, Alex woke with a fresh clue, seemingly left by spectral hands. The tension among the hotel guests escalated as accidents began to multiply, each more bizarre than the last. A mirror in the Grand Hall cracked precisely as Alex passed, and a sudden chill left everyone's breath hanging like spectres in the air. These events drove the detective to confront the possibility that the hotel itself harbored malevolent forces. In a confrontation filled with psychological twists, Alex faced the person they had least suspected, the hotel's owner, a descendant of the expedition leader. In a room swirling with surreal, frosty air, the owner confessed to using the hotel to contact the spirits of their ancestors, believing they could harness their knowledge to prevent future tragedies. The revelation came at a high cost. As the truth unfolded, the owner's control over the spiritual forces waned, leading to a climactic sequence where reality and the supernatural collided spectacularly. Windows shattered, sending shards flying like ice daggers, and the walls themselves seemed to scream with the voices of the past, demanding recognition and release. In the quiet aftermath of the chaotic revelations, Alex Harrow walked through the now silent corridors of the Ice Hotel. The shattered glass had been cleared, but the echoes of the tumultuous night lingered in the cold air. Each step felt heavy as Alex pondered the fragile boundary between the known and the unknown. 
the natural and the supernatural. The detective took one last look at the owner's room, now eerily calm and starkly empty. The surreal events of the previous night seemed almost dreamlike, but the emotional scars they left on Alex were undeniably real. They reflected on the burden of knowledge, the secrets of the hotel and its spectral inhabitants that they would now carry. Before departing, Alex met with the remaining guests and staff. The atmosphere was subdued. The shared experience of the supernatural had unspokenly bonded them. Alex offered reassurances, but their words felt hollow, overshadowed by the weight of the unresolved mysteries and the spirits that might still linger. As Alex left the ice hotel, the detective felt a shift within themselves. The icy facade of the hotel receded into the distance, but the memories of what had transpired would remain frozen in time. There was a realization that some places hold secrets so deep, so intertwined with their essence, that they can never fully be understood. The story closed with Alex looking back one last time, the aurora borealis flaring brightly above the hotel, casting it in a spectral light. It was a hauntingly beautiful sight, a poignant reminder of the thin veil between reality and the otherworldly, between sanity and madness. Back in the bustling reality of the city, Alex Harrow found the contrast to the silent, frozen expanses of the ice hotel stark and jarring. The detective resumed their duties, yet the spectres of the ice lingered in their mind, colouring their perceptions with a newfound awareness of the unseen. The memories of the hotel and its enigmatic occurrences often drifted through Alex's dreams. At times they would wake, expecting to see the shimmering walls of ice, only to find the familiar shadows of their urban apartment. The case had officially closed, but for Alex, the echoes of the hotel's secrets were a continuous whisper in their daily life. They often caught themselves staring into the cold distance on frosty mornings, half expecting the aurora to light up the grey city sky. Revisiting the case files months later, Alex noted down potential links and theories that could one day warrant a return to the ice hotel. The unexplained phenomena had sparked a deeper curiosity about the supernatural urging them to explore other similar mysteries around the globe. Alex receiving a cryptic letter, simply signed with an initial and a seal resembling the hotel's emblem. It hinted at new secrets unfolding at the Ice Hotel, suggesting that the story was far from over. The detective smiled, a mix of dread and anticipation stirring within, as the line between their professional and personal quests continued to blur.